This video is going to go over stoichiometry calculations. And we have already looked at molar mass. And we know that molar mass is used to help us convert between grams and moles of a substance. And that molar mass we get by adding all of the atomic weights together for a compound. We have already looked at mole ratios. For example, if we were looking at CO2, we would know that there is one mole of carbon for every one mole of CO2. Or there would be two moles of oxygen for every one mole of CO2. And we've used that in previous problems. Now what we're going to do is use this for a whole chemical reaction, and we're going to be incorporating those two those separate calculations in. So let's look at an equation. So if we look at this, the first thing we'll notice is the reaction is not balanced. So I have one, two Ks, so I'll use two Ks. Then I have two CLs, so one, two CLs on the right side. I have six O's on the left side, but I only have four on the right side. So that means that isn't going to work for me. So if two doesn't work, we're going to have to try something else. So maybe we're going to want to do three, maybe here. So if we have three Ks and one K, that would be four. So maybe I'll try four here. Then I have four CLs on the left. So I have three CLs plus one more is four. Then I have 3 times 4 is 12 O's, and 4 times 3 is 12 O's. Now what this relationship tells me is that if I have 4 molecules of this one, that I would make 3 molecules of this product, and I would make 1 molecule of that product. It also tells me that if I have four moles of the KClO3, I can produce three moles of KClO4 and one mole of KCl. So I can use these coefficients, this would be a one, to write those as mole ratios. For example, I could say that four moles of KClO3, so four moles of that, is to one mole of KCl. Or I maybe am going to look at these two. And I could say three moles of KClO4 for every one mole of KCl. I could also look at these two and say there's three moles of KClO4 for every four moles of KClO3. So those coefficients in my balanced equation represent a ratio of moles. So we're going to be using this mole ratio idea in these new calculations that we're doing. Okay, so let's say that we're going to look at this balanced equation, and I'm just going to write it again down here so that we don't have so much other stuff to look at. And let's say that I have 12 moles of the KClO4. What if I wanted to find how many moles I had of the KClO3? So I can use this mole ratio. I'm looking at these two things. And I have this one right now, so it's going to go down here to cancel. So 3 moles of the KCl4, so I'm using this coefficient. And I'm trying to find this one on the top, so 4 
of the KCL03. So I do what I want over what I got. And those will cancel. So now if I take 12 times 4, and then I would divide by 3, and I would find that I'm going to have to have 16 moles of the KCLO3. Okay, well, what if I have 5.75 moles of the KCLO3 and I'm trying to find out how many moles of the KCL I have? Okay, so if I have 5.75 moles of the KClO3, the KClO3 has to go on the bottom, and I have 4 of the KClO3. I'm trying to find the KCL, and it has a 1. So what I want over what I got. So 5.75 times 1, and then divide by 4. And three significant figures, those are whole numbers, they're counting numbers. So I get three significant figures, 1.44 moles of KCL. Right, so you can just use those coefficients in a balanced chemical reaction to do mole ratios to go from moles of one thing to moles of another one.